everybody, what is going on? My name is Harry and welcome everybody to another Roblox Studio video. Today everybody, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a realistic Roblox game, just like the one I'm showing you right here. As you can see, we have a really, really beautiful looking map here with stunning lighting. You can open up this little torch here. Look how well everything reflects upon these materials here. Everything's looking really lovely. We've got this lush sunset. Um, we've got butterflies flying around over here. We have really, really nice looking materials. Look how high quality these are. Really, really stunning. We can come ahead, we can go ahead and come over here. We can go into this cave, which looks absolutely gorgeous. Come out here, look at the beautiful sun, and then of course, look over the lake. But yeah guys, before this video begins, please remember to subscribe to the channel because literally 99% of you do not subscribe, okay? That is absolutely unreal. Please make sure you subscribe as it literally only takes a second you join a community of multiple thousands of developers. For some reason, tutorial YouTubers don't get as much like support as gaming ones, so please make sure you can make support the channel as it really will help out loads. Oh yeah guys, also remember to like the video as it does help loads of other people out so they can see this video. And also comment down below your um, realistic games because I'd love to see them and I'd love to go and check them out. And yeah, without further ado, let's go into this video. Oh, little base plate. Now guys, these this is just the default thing. You just press the new game and it just comes like this. But all, uh, lighting is horrendous. Everything looks awful. The material choice is um, absolutely horrendous. But yeah, we're going to be looking at this video in three different parts. It's going to be lighting, then terrain, then assets. So the assets are going to just be some free assets you can use and look really realistic. And then lighting and what you know what lighting is. And then terrain is just going to be what's going around. So yeah, let's start off with lighting. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into this little lighting button here. We're just going to press on it. And now here in properties, um, we're going to change some of these. If you don't have property, go to view up here and enable this and you get this down there. Okay, so we're going to start off because we want to kind of make sure all the ambience looks nice and dark. Because we're going to go to ambient. And here we go, we get this little thing called colours. We're going to make sure this is gone to black. Okay, brightness. We're going to try and increase it a bit more. So we're going to increase this by 0.24. Why is because, well, it just makes, keeps it nice and bright. Make sure people can see, um, counteract the ambience here. Okay, we're going to keep the colour shift bottom at zero. We don't need anything more here. But we want to kind of turn the colour shift top to an orangey colour. So, um, a nice orangey colour is, we're going to go 253, um, comma 89, and then comma 11. This will give you a really nice orangey colour. Now, you may look at this and think, oh, this is weird. This is really weird. Well, you just wait, guys. This will turn out really nice. So, here we are. We're going to go back to these two things. These are always necessary. Always put these at one, guys. If you have the opportunity, diffuse and, and um, specular are really, really useful. Make your things really nice. Um, global shadows always on um, outdoor ambient we're gonna do a different kind of lighter orange this time so we're gonna go to one six I'm gonna go five uh, again 87 and then four there we go we now have a more of a sort of you know reflective orange shadow sharpness always put this at zero it gives a nice crisp shadow shadow I can't speak get this here exposure and increase it a bit so you can kind of see a bit brighter now, what we're going to do is you're going to go in the description below. When you've got this, we're going to go to the toolbox here. And it's going to be my little um, lighting kit. We're going to go to the little tools, my models. And you want to click on it, drag it in. When you've dragged it in, what you want to do is you want to drag everything that's in here, what is here, and put it into lighting, just like that. Okay? What it will do is it will change the sky, the atmosphere, and everything will kind of, you know, come, come all together, make all nice. Okay? So now... Lighting is all done. You may think this will look a bit funky because it does right now. It, it looks a bit strange, but trust me, it'll get better as the video progresses. Okay, guys, just a real quick preview here of what it looks like. It looks a bit strange, going to be completely honest, but honestly, it'll look better as we get along. Okay, let's do this. Terrain, my favourite thing in Roblox. Let's actually do this. So we're going to start off by pressing on this little editor up here. What this shows is the terrain editor. We're going to go to edit and add. Now, from add, we're going to go to the square tool. This is probably the most realistic way to do this. Go into rock and increase the size here. So you can see we get this little cursor. What we're going to do with this cursor is we're just going to click like this. Click. As you can see, we can add rock. Already, this material is really nice. Now, this is subject to change. Um, in a couple of weeks' time, I'm pretty sure this will change into a more of a realistic texture. So you wait for that, guys. Honestly, this is realistic now. But it'll look better soon. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come up here. And we're just going to go ahead and create a little circle. Just like this. Bang, 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 bang. Simple as that. We're then going to add another layer on top just to add it, make it seem a bit better. Okay, I think rock's probably the, one of the best looking materials along with sandstone right now. Oh, sorry, um, gravel. Here we go. So we now have ourselves our little creek. 
We're gonna go to smooth. I'm just gonna smoothen this out a bit more. Make it seem a bit more natural. More natural, it's always better in terrain. Honestly, I recommend it like for everyone. Always use a smooth, smooth tool. Probably the best tool around. Yeah, 110% probably the best tool around. Just kind of smooth this out a bit more. Okay, we're then gonna go ahead, go to the paint tool. Now here we're gonna go to this and we're gonna press on grass, but then gonna go ahead and reduce the size of the brush and sort of start painting it down. Now you may be wondering, this grass looks a bit strange. Okay, now yes it does, but this is subject to change like most things in this video. So you just place it all down, blang, 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 blang. Okay, you may be wondering where the nice little, oh, I don't know, glass shards, not shards, blades of grass are. Um, we'll add them in a second, just plonk this all down, simple as, just bang, 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 easy there, okay, um, put this all down, okay, I've done the grass, if you get these little overlays, just kind of put these over, just like this, make it look a bit nicer, like that, okay, if you want to turn on the blazer grass, we're going to go to work so here, terrain, and turn on decoration, there we go, we got now nice, these lovely grass shards that look really, really, really nice, so let's just paint this off, make this all nice, and yeah, there we go, we've now sort of got our kind of cove, um, we want to turn this little base plate here, so I recommend getting your plug-in called Part to Terrain, if you want to paint it yourself, you can, get this, I recommend using cobblestone, as it looks really nice, like that, um, then I'm going to go ahead, back to the terrain editor, uh, we're going to go to region and we're going to select and we're going to create a region of terrain. So what we're going to, oh goodness me, there we go, <laughs> sorry I just removed it, we're just going to go like this, like this, like that, like that, oh oops I hate the region tool trust me guys, but it's the only thing we can really do in this aspect, bring that down, bring this down, merge empty on, fill, merge empty, water, fill, there we go, we've now got water, now this water does look pretty manky, I'm going to be keeping on us kind of just you know it doesn't really fit it's a bit dark so we're going to go back into terrain here um watercolor we're going to put this more of an orangey sort of color like that and we're also going to put the transparency really nice and high but not too high just like that that looks a lot nicer look how nice this water looks guys this is proper nice water okay we're then going to go ahead and get the um moon dragger or sun dragger you know drag this down to there this is not necessary but i like to use it so yeah we can kind of put that there um, if you don't know that, you can go to lighting and change the time of day to 6.47 p.m. Um, yeah, there we go. We're going to go ahead and, yeah, and that is your terrain. You've done your terrain. Time to move on to the assets. Okay, finally, with the assets, you're going to go to the link in the description and you're going to go to the forest pack by robots. You're just going to click on it just like this. And here we go. We have a massive and beautiful pack of realistic, nice forest pack. Now, um, this is by Roblox, so yeah, shout out to them, I guess. But yeah, you can kind of get these rocks. What I did in the previous one is I kind of plonk this, like, I don't know, in the middle. Looks nice there. Uh, trees can kind of go like this and like that. And yeah, you kind of pace them out a bit more, make it look all nice. And yeah, um, that is pretty much your assets. Okay guys, one more thing I want to cover quickly is these little fish here. These are really fun to have. Um, certain ones, if you press on them, it says fish jump, fish um, idle, swim. They're really useful to have, they're really fun to have. You can just plonk them there and they automatically fly around. Like this bird is really low resolution, but is very well optimized. I mean, oh, where are we going there? <laughs> um, yeah, and that is pretty much that for this video. Thank you very, very much for watching, guys. I really hope you um, go ahead and your make your own uh realistic games remember to subscribe and like break that stereotype and break that constant thing where tutorial youtube don't get as many as gaming make sure you do that um if you enjoyed the video please share it with your friends as i hope they can make their own games and yeah thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed i wish you the best